Hi guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to today's video. Welcome back to my another foundation review. So I'm going to be testing out this Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. And the shade that I have here is 24N. So they have huge range of shades. They have from warm undertone, cool undertone, and neutral undertone. I think it's more than 10 shades that you can get from Sephora store. So I have swatched this one and I think this is the most suitable shade for me. Hopefully, because the warm color is like a little bit too yellow on me, so I guess this should do it. Here it described that a weightless tinted moisturizer that instantly blurs and hydrates your skin with light to medium coverage and natural finish. So they have light to medium coverage. I think I'm gonna conceal a little bit on my face. I mean the blemishes on my face because, you know with light to medium coverage it's like let's just conceal it first okay before i head on with the foundation let's put on this primer this is always an optimist pore diffusing primer i have try out the mini size one i guess this is the perfect one for me i have tried out with so many foundations before and it works so so great so this is the full size let's apply this right away it has a great texture and acceptable tackiness feel on the skin so I like that just make sure that you don't skip your skincare every day moving on to concealer let's conceal a little bit I think I'm gonna do with two different applicators but let's see how it works with buffing brush if it works so well I will probably just use buffing brush I did try their previous foundation and I love the texture of that. It's kind of natural but let's see how this foundation goes. Looks like everything has been covered with concealer and let's proceed with this foundation. That's the texture of the foundation. It can be matched with me. A little bit yellow, but the thing is, the other shades of this foundation that I've swatched at Sephora, they all are almost like a little bit more orangey than this. So I think this is the one that matched me well. I hope so. I'm gonna leave it here for a few minutes and see how much it's oxidized, okay? So let's apply that on the face. I'm gonna start on this side first. I'm gonna use this brush. This is from Brina Beauty Travel Kit. So, so natural. So skin like. I love it. And there's no cakiness happening when I do the application with this brush. Always in dabbing motion. Okay, so can you see the difference? I think it looks so amazing. Love it. Almost feels like my own skin. Okay, let's do it on this side. It is now 10 11 in the morning. I'm feeling so happy to see that this foundation goes on so well. It doesn't leave any crackiness for now. I love it. I love the feel of it. So breathable. And most importantly, it looks like my own skin. It doesn't look makeup y. Yes, I am happy with this. Looks like this has been oxidized. Okay, here it is, the comparison between the fresh swatch and the things that has been oxidized. Mmm, yeah. yeah. I can see myself in the mirror that it has been oxidized. Like, a little bit darker. Like, two times darker, I think. Yeah. This is better than having kind of like a little bit too bright color on the face. So, I'm okay with it. Let's do full makeup. I'll be right back with you guys.
Okay, so I'm done with the full makeup. I have applied a loose powder. That's the most important thing, okay? Please apply your loose powder on top of your foundation. It is now 10.37 in the morning. It looks so seamless. I love it. I love how it looks like on my skin. Feels like skin like finish. Yep, it is so so natural. I have no highlighter on the face. Not here, not here, and not here. But I'm just gonna put on on the eyes right here. Yeah, just around my eyes. Everything going on so well. I love it. So we'll see how great it is, how good it controls oil on the skin, and how good the loose powder controls oil on the skin as well. So this look has been mattified. It looks like matte finish. Okay, so we know that. But we will see how it turns out. How the glow of this foundation peeking through on the face. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys. So right now it's almost twelve. In the afternoon, about that jump belakang tu, yes. I'm still having my makeup on. It's just that I'm changing my tudung. Sebab, yeah, I'm running some errands at home, masa and apa lagi? Uh, kemas rumah. And then kejap lagi my mom nak datang. So right now this is how the foundation looks on my face. Okay, it's so almost one hour and half. I'm having this foundation on and look at it. I don't look super oily or anything. Let's check it out in a few hours more. Okay guys, so now it is 1.17 in the afternoon. It's been 4 hours I'm having this foundation on. Feels like my own skin and my blush still okay with this foundation. My face doesn't look super oily or super shine on this area and this area. Usually it does that. I see that there is a little bit of glow finish peeking through but it's not over the top i mean it's not really over shine is there any dry patches yeah i can see a little bit around here there's a little bit of dry patches happening i don't know what's the problem in terms of how creasing it is i don't see any crease peeking through on the face but it's just that the finish on my chin right here doesn't look really good if you look at me really close yeah you can see that it's a little bit crack up I don't know, I was eating, I was just doing house chores and the weather today is quite sunny, quite bright and I guess it's a good day for me to try out this foundation, right? Here's the close-up look of this foundation. Okay, just now I was so so happy trying out this foundation. It looks so amazing on the skin, feels so skin-like and it does feel skin-like and look skin-like until now. But I wonder what's going on with the finishing on my chins right here. In terms of the shade that I picked, it's really nice for the person in light to light medium skin tone. So yeah, it will oxidize throughout a few minutes. It doesn't work well on the place that I move around too much. But over here and here, it looks so nice, so smooth, so skin-like. Yeah, kind of mixed feeling. I am happy and sad at the same time. It works well on a certain area, but not on the other area. Okay, so that's all. Um, I don't know how to decide this whether I like it or not. It's kind of like mixed feeling. So if you have any experience of using this foundation, please tell me how do you feel about it. I just want to know how people react on this foundation. If you have any suggestions on what kind of foundations that I should try on next, please just comment down below. So I hope this word test is enough for you guys since that there's minor problem that happening to me. So I kind of like, maybe I should try this on myself for longer hours okay so i'll see you guys in the next video with much more interesting makeup reviews makeup tutorial or the swatches video have a good time have a great day i'll see you guys soon bye